Could we ever make light bulbs that stand the test of time? If we could, should we make those? There are a lot of burning questions when it comes to light bulbs and their lifespan. In this video, we'll be shedding light on why they can't last forever. Are you enjoying our puns? Because we sure are. First, are there light bulbs that last forever? Thinking about the amount of money we spend each year on replacing light bulbs, we're wondering if there are any that could, well, last forever. Imagine not having to do this tedious job job over and over again and just live in a place constantly illuminated. Sounds cool, right? Well, theoretically, there exists a light bulb called the Centennial Light, which is officially recorded as the world's longest lasting light bulb. Located at a fire station in Livermore, California, and operated by the Livermore Pleasanton Fire Department, the bulb was first installed way, way back in 1901. What's incredible is the fact that the bulb has remained on constantly ever since it was installed, and it's still working to this day. That essentially means it's been running for over a million hours, putting all our modern day light bulbs to utter shame. That's no small feat for a historical light bulb. The Centennial Light has survived more than 75 years of service, and initially was connected to the city's main 110 volt power system. It was then moved to its present location today, under police and fire truck escort. Live in the high life. The light bulb bulb is now connected to its own independent 120 volt power supply with a UPS. While the UPS failed for a while in 2013 and the bulb remained off for nine and a half hours, it's now back in full swing and doesn't seem to have any problems. Now, the life of the Centennial Light. When you've been burning for over a million hours, people kind of tend to notice, which is why it's no surprise that even Guinness World Records has recognized the Centennial Light for its never ending illumination. Interestingly enough, it has been said that the fact that the light has never been turned off is the actual secret behind its longevity. For now, the fire department of Livermore, California is all set to let it run for as long as it can. When and if the bulb dies, they plan to display it in a specially made museum with other cool firefighting equipment. That's some life for a light bulb. Heck, the bulb even has its own website dedicated to its history, life, and fun facts. Currently, you can actually plan a visit to the Centennial Light by requesting the fire crew at Livermore. That bulb's living a cooler life than most people we know. Up next, what's the reality? The reality is simple. Light bulbs can't burn forever, and incandescent light bulbs have a span of around 1,000 hours. If we calculate their usage on a normal eight hour day, that gives them a life of roughly four months. That's still longer than the time it took for us to kill the only plant we had. In comparison, compact fluorescent light bulbs or CFLs are supposedly much longer lasting, but this isn't always the case. If you've replaced your light bulbs in the recent past and their lifespan seems to be suspiciously shorter than it should be, there may be several reasons for the problem. However, light bulbs in reality are very carefully engineered to last for only a certain amount of time. So why does this happen? One of the primary reasons for this is that the filament inside regular bulbs is made of tungsten instead of carbon, which is what the Centennial light bulb is made of. Once it's turned on, the filament burns in order to give off what we see as light. However, only 5% of the electricity used in these bulbs is actually converted to light. The rest is pretty much wasted as heat. The reality is that incandescent light bulbs can be easily described as heating machines that give off a little bit of light. This is mostly why they're also being phased out in many countries. There's not enough value in what's being provided. Under the law, standard light bulbs are required to mention the number of hours that they're meant to last and the amount of light they give off on their packaging. This amount of light is called the number of lumens. You can compare the number of light burning hours and the lumens on a long lasting light bulb against a standard light bulb of the same wattage. If you're a-okay with lesser light, but the convenience of not having to change your bulbs more often, then you can opt for the long-lasting bulb. Although even that isn't exactly a permanent solution. And now, let's discuss temperatures. However, it's not quite that simple. The life of a light bulb largely depends on the temperature of its filament. For a given amount of electrical power consumption, the higher the temperature, the shorter the lifespan will be. Long-lasting light bulbs have filaments that are made to glow at a lower temperature. But the catch here is that lower 
lower temperatures don't really produce enough light. Higher temperatures of the filament also produce white, bluer light, and lower temperature ones have a yellow cast in comparison, which means the light isn't quite white and so not exactly too pleasing to the eye. Long-lasting bulbs use filament that allows less electrical current to pass through them in order to ensure their lower temperatures. The resulting lack of current flow makes for less heat and ultimately less light. So not only is the light slightly yellow, but it's also not enough. Buying these long-lasting bulbs means getting a higher wattage than usual to make sure that it gives off the light that we've come to expect from normal bulbs. And now, why there are no everlasting bulbs today. With all this talk of Centennial Lights and Guinness World Records, you may be wondering why despite having light bulbs amongst us that have been operating for over 100 years, we don't have any in our supermarkets today. The technology has obviously existed for a while, right? The short answer is something called planned obsolescence, a commonly used business practice today that keeps the era of capitalism flourishing. Planned obsolescence is a business and marketing ploy that makes sure that any current version of a product will eventually either become outdated or useless after a certain period of time. Think about your iPhones and how they suddenly start slowing down before the release of a newer model. It's exactly like that. So why would anyone do that deliberately? It's quite simple. The idea is to make products with built-in expiry dates and limitations to make sure the consumer will seek a replacement in the near future. After all, the sooner the product becomes defunct, the more likely it is to be replaced, right? Thus creating this never-ending cycle of purchase. Welcome to capitalism, folks! While it's less obvious in things like light bulbs, it definitely exists as a planned strategy to ensure sales are boosted. And finally, the light conspiracy. You'll be surprised to know it wasn't always this way, though. Back in the early days, light bulbs were known as cutting-edge tech, and various inventors like Warren De La Rue and Thomas Edison were working quite hard to make them long-lasting. Things were looking up around the 1920s when a good balance with using tungsten in the filament was figured out, and most bulbs had lifespans spanning around 2,000 to 2,500 hours. But then light bulb manufacturers such as Philips, Osram, and International General Electric held a secret meeting in 1924 in Geneva to form a group called Phoebus Cartel, Phoebus being the Greek god of light. Cool name? Not such cool antics. The main goal of this cartel was to control the supply of light bulbs. Each manufacturer understood the fact that if any of them managed to create a long-lasting bulb, which was definitely possible, sales would go down and replacement bulbs would be non-existent. Bulbs at the time were lasting too long, and from a business point of view, for them, this was far from ideal. Hence, a pact was made to combat this, and all the cartel members agreed to deliberately reduce the running lifespan of light bulbs to no more than 1,000 hours. So how did they ensure that everyone followed through with this pact? The agreement stated that each manufacturer had to send samples of bulbs to a central body that would check them for longevity, and any bulbs over the set limit would face hefty fines. It all went according to plan, and sales increased as a result. Not only did the sales increase over time, but companies managed to save on the cost by using cheaper components to create the bulbs. Imagine having to pay a fine for actually making a good product that lasts for a longer time and benefits the people. Well, unfortunately, that's the kind of world we live in now. That's a wrap for this video. Do you have any thoughts about light bulbs and their lifespan? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.